Hey everybody. So I've been promising for about like, I don't know, maybe two years now that I'd make a second part for Ina Klein and Oct music. Truth be told, when I made that first video, I didn't realize it was going to get a lot of views outside of the students that I teach. So here it is, finally, I guess, better late than never, the second half to Ina Kleina. And you can see that I've actually put the music up on the screen so that you can see it. Um, I, you know, get a lot of my music from IMSLP, which is a, a music website for anything that's basically out of copyright. But you can also find this on freegigmusic.com, and I'll link that in the video so you guys can find it there. That being said, let's get started. So we're starting right here where the repeat sign is for the next half, okay? So... To play these two notes, it's just D and open D, like that's an octave. So you have almost what's like the beginning. A, F, A, D sharp, high three. Then here I'd go into second position so that you can go first finger on what would be G, right? And then you go to four for the C. Now you have to be really careful when you watch your half steps there because there's a half step between C natural and B. So just be careful. If you choose to do the trill, you're trilling from A to B, two to three. It's very fast. Um, if you're ever looking to practice trills, one way that my teacher always told me to practice was to take the two notes. So let's say we're taking that A and that B and you're just gonna uh, do one quick movement from that A to that B in a down bow. And you're gonna do that a couple different times like this. as fast and as accurate as you can. If you hear, you can actually hear my finger thumping against the fingerboard. That's how much force I'm using. Then I would try adding two of those. And I'd keep going, right, in, in order of numbers to see how many I can get in one bow. And then eventually I would try to get as many as I can to get really fast trills. You probably have to work on it um, but that would really help you for Ina Klein and Oxygen because they're these really short trills, okay? So I'll always tell you what note you would trill to and demonstrate it, but then also play without the trill. So from that same spot is what it would be if you're just doing A, G. Same thing if you're, here, if you're doing the trill. Then be careful. Then you go to A to G sharp. So that trill would still be to B, but then you'd go to G sharp, which is the higher one. Be careful here, you're going from B to C natural, right? Then you can go to third position, like it says here, if you see that, I think that's a maybe a one they put over top of that, or you can just stay in second. And then shift to first. We're now at 67, okay? So again, from here, if you wanna shift um, or stay in second position, two, four, three, two, one, two, one might be better there because then you can just stay in first for a little bit. Then maybe you want to go to third. And then, I don't know, first. But it also might work out if you do it in second instead. So if I were to play, then if I go to second here, yeah, three fingers on the E flat. Stay there then you don't have to shift at all. So if you're comfortable playing in second position, that's what I would do. I would just stay in second the whole time. Um, I'd probably just come back to first on the GF, stay in first position on 67, and then go back to uh, second position. Moving on, we're now here at this open D. So you have, be careful, you have an F sharp and a B flat. C sharp. Yeah, I'd be careful there too because I would go into third position on that B flat. So you have second finger, two, half step, then three again for the C sharp, then a D, two, three, four, one, two, then third finger, F sharp on the A string, then like the beginning. Stay in third, first. This is an extension to four. Extension again. Then stay in third. Maybe first. You can stay in first here. So 
So when it comes to bowings here, you, you do um, have a tendency to have two notes slurred and two notes separate. My tendency would be down, down, up, up. And then I might break that into two bows. Down, up, so that I can be down bow on that sports sondo, which I think works out better. Um, so instead of doing, I don't, I don't like that as much as I like. Down bow again. Then um, 16th notes, remember? And I would maybe do this in third position, so jump to one on that D. Stay in third. Maybe stay in third here so you can do second finger with some vibrato on G string instead of open D, which is a little bit more aggressive, okay? Then you're going to piano. Very nice and delicate. Okay, and that's also a C natural, so be careful there. Then. So I'd go to three um, at C natural on that C at measure 103. Then stay in third. That changes. Then you have an F sharp first. Then you can go back to third here. And if you're doing the trill, you're going to F sharp. Then if you want to do the octave, it's one and four. Or if you just want to take the top note, be careful, it's C natural. Then you could do open E if you want. Or you can go to third position and play that E with two. And then stay in third. Again, you would want to trill to the F sharp. Here, you're jumping to fourth position for that E. It's the same as your harmonic. I mean, you could do a harmonic, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's not as stable to get back to that D. So you're finding that E with four fingers and then coming back to D, C, B, C. Be careful because that's a C natural. And make sure that E is high enough that first time I played with a little bit flat. Then I'd go back to third. Be careful again of that C natural. So you have to be careful where your half steps change depending on the position that you're in. You always have a C natural and there's always a half step between C and B natural, whether that's between two and three or one and two. So you've got to be super careful about that. Then I would stay in third. Maybe go to first. Again, but if you're doing the trill, there's no way that you can trill from fourth finger. So you just want to stay in um, third position. So that way you get that. And then whatever you choose to do, maybe go back to first. Trill to that D. Then D sharp, high three to four. Okay, so be careful there. And then you have this part that everybody knows at uh, 117. You want your fingers to be really articulated. Instead of articulating with the bow, articulate with your left hand. That's all with your with your fingers. It's like moving them like robots. Da, 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 da. Okay? So really make sure you hear that emphasis there and the chromaticism. And I would also split that bowing up. So if at 127 I'm doing down, up, I do down, up, down, up, go to third, down, up, then go back to first there. So if you're going to do all those notes there, that's open D, and we're talking about this D, D, D with the octaves there in that chord. That's zero, one, four. And then go back to first. Third, maybe you shift to second finger, two, four. Back to first. Oh, sorry. My nail got caught on there for a second. Shift. And these are all down bow. Remember, we talked about this last time, wanting the sound to ring out. And then you can do up, up, down if you want, or if you like, if you want to do down, down, up, I guess that's fine too. I would probably do. That way I can end on a nice solid quarter note for that down bow. 
So that's the second half of Ina Kleina. If you have questions, I will be better about responding. I know that some of you guys didn't get responses for maybe even a year. I'm sorry about that. This channel was really more for my students, but I'm looking to make it for more for everybody. So if you have requests or if you have any questions about Ina Kleina, feel free to ask. Hopefully this helped you. And again, I'll link the music so that you can find it as well. Okay. All right. Happy practicing and good luck.